Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to track PPP loan expenses. So I'm getting a lot of questions on, um, you know, okay, we got our PPP loan, we got the money, we put it in the bank. Now, how do we track our expenses against this? Because part of the um, PPP loan forgiveness provisions are that you have to spend this money uh, over the next eight weeks, you have to spend at least 75% of it on the payroll, retirement benefits, uh, health benefits, and then the other 25% on rent, uh, utilities, etc. And you have to maintain a headcount that you had last year. And at least, you know, what, the, what, what it says now is that majority of that then will be forgiven or all of it will be forgiven. Now, we don't have final rules on the forgiveness provisions yet, but uh, that's the way it's being interpreted right now. So a lot of the questions I've gotten uh, since the previous video are, okay, how do we track these PPP loan expenses? Because we need to show that we spent this money on the right expenses. Now, the way the law is written right now is that as long as you can show that you spent that much money on the payroll, the benefits, retirement benefits, and the rent and utilities, you should be okay. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, on the safe side of tracking these expenses. So I'm going to show you two ways in this video how to keep track of the expenses uh, that you pay using your PPP loan money. Okay. Now, the first way is if you have more than one bank account. Okay. So if you have at your bank, if you have, you know, a checking and maybe a money market account, uh, you know, at least two accounts. Okay, what some people are doing is depositing the money into one account, and then every time they have an expense that this covers, they transfer that over from that second account to the first account. So let me show you an example here. Okay, so let me go to my chart of accounts, and you'll see we've got a checking account here, and we've got a money market. Okay, so let's say uh, that we get a PPP loan for $10,000, you know, the, the amount doesn't matter. And we're going to go make a deposit uh, into our money market account. Okay, so our checking account is the one that we, we pay our bills, we run our payroll, we do all that kind of stuff through. But we want to go ahead and just deposit this money in the money market account. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go up to the banking drop down menu, and I'm going to say make deposit. Okay, now I'm going to cancel this. These are undeposited funds. And I'm going to say received from, uh, you don't need to put anyone because in this case, this is coming from the bank and from the SBA. So you can put that in, but you don't have to. I already have an account, a long-term liability account set up called PPP loan. All right, and we're going to say this is the PPP loan proceeds. Okay, and payment method check. We're gonna say, let's say it's $10,000, okay? So this deposit right here, I'm gonna put it into the money market account instead of the checking, okay? So $10,000, okay? I hit save and close, and you can see now that I've got $10,000 into my money market account right here, all right? So now let's say that we have um, a payroll, and let's say that that payroll is, um, you know, $6,200. That's the gross wages plus any, um, well, we won't say health insurance bill, but let's say that it includes like a 401k match, which is going to be included. So we just ran a $6,200 payroll. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to say banking transfer funds, and you can do this, you know, before you run the payroll. All right, so we'll say the transfer date 1215 from the money market to the checking was $6,200, okay? And we're going to save and close. Okay, we'll save anyway with the classes. Okay, so you can see that $6,200 went from the money market to the checking account, okay? So it's kind of like, almost like, a, you know, tracking these expenses. So you're gonna say I had this $6,200 payroll, I move the money from my money market, which is my PPP money, directly to my checking to pay for that payroll. If I have a rent payment, I moved X amount of dollars from my money market to my checking to cover that rent payment. If I had a 401k match that was separate from my payroll, if I had a health insurance bill, uh, et cetera, you wanna move that money from the money market to the checking, okay? So that's how you can track 
the spending of that money. All right, so that's the first way. Now, the second way what I want to show you, and this was actually uh, somebody in another video I did uh, uh, here on YouTube on how to record the PPP loan proceeds. Somebody made a comment with this method, and I thought this was pretty unique too. So what they did is they just had one account. So let's say you have one checking account here and you don't have any savings money market, anything like that, and you get the PPP money, okay? And it gets deposited to your checking account. So you have to have a way to track how you're spending that money. So here's what they did, which I, which I thought was pretty good, pretty unique. So they went and they created a new account, okay? And they said this was a bank account, and they hit continue. And they called it, let's say, PPP loan proceeds, something like that, okay? Now, this was a sub-account of their checking account, all right? So... In, in, in the real world, this was not a physically like a new bank account, but they wanted to separate out the PPP loan proceeds. Okay. So they had the one bank account. And so for them to be able to do this, they created this sub account under the checking account. So if we hit save and close, we'll hit no on this. And so you can see it here, it's got a zero balance. So what they did then is they said, okay, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer funds from my checking to my PPP loan proceeds. And we're going to say that it's, let's say it was $25,000. Okay. They hit save and close. So anyway, all right. So now you'll see that the 25,000 is under the PPP loan proceeds. And now in this case, what they did was every time that they went to spend money out of the checking account, like rent, payroll, whatever it was, they simply just did a transfer from this account over to the checking account, all right? And again, how they did that is they just went to banking, transfer funds, and transfer from the PPP loan proceeds bank account to the checking, and let's say that it was $10,000, okay? and save anyway, and you'll see that it goes down. Now you'll notice the checking account balance doesn't change, and that's because uh, it includes everything in the sub account. So uh, all we're doing is kind of separ separating out this money. We're like earmarking this money as specific money that we need to use to pay the bills, okay? So then when everything's said and done, you know, the banks are gonna probably require payroll records and copies of canceled checks for rent and, you know, health insurance bills and all that good stuff. And um, what you can do, though, also just to make sure is you can go into the detail of, let's say, this PPP loan proceeds account or maybe this money market account you set up. Uh, but you can pull all those details to see what you spent that money on. Okay. So these are a couple of simple ways. If you have other ways, there's got to be multiple other ways. Most definitely feel free to leave them below, comment below. Uh, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, leave them at the bottom of this video. And also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to teach you QuickBooks over there, how to use it, how to get the best and uh, uh, most efficient use out of it so you can use it to run your business. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.